What's good? It's your boy. You know who it is, Rance? Your boy. That's right. The Thunder God of Compton is here. Oh, shoot. You see that shit landing right there, bro? Right before. I'm going to take a picture of this so y'all can see this shit. I can't make this up. I can't make this up, bro. I can't make that up. That shit landed perfect. It was like, try me, get up! You know what I'm saying? I, I know this don't have nothing to do. You should have seen the way I threw that motherfucking hat. It was perfect. <laughs> but. As I digress, there's something going on in the community. Now I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the car community. I'm not talking about visual arts community. I'm not talking about film community. I'm talking about the community as a whole. Culture vultures. You ever seen somebody in the mall with box braids and they swear that they first came out and they copied it for somebody else? Uh, that's not right. Box braids have been out for a long time. You ever seen somebody's picture on something else and you notice like, hey, I know whose picture that is, but then they're like, hey, this is our picture and you're not quite giving the credit that's due? Maybe I'm ill-informed on some things or maybe I've just been misled to believe what I perceive, but what I see is not what I perceive. What I'm saying is there's a lot of can I borrow your homework and then you just change the name on the homework going around in the community. People seem that they want to infiltrate here and then try to build off of it and then get rich off of it. And people may see that I may be salty about something, but that's not it at all. It's like we put a lot of love and care, time, ingenuity. I see people out there taking pictures. I see people out there taking videos. I see people out there taking videos and taking pictures on fun savers and gap savers. It doesn't matter if you're using a DSLR 100, a VX 1000, or your mother's handy cam from when you was at your fifth grade graduation singing, all the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. It don't matter. What it is is just giving the credit where credit is due. It's as simple as that. If you gotta ask somebody for something, ask somebody for something. Don't bitch around, needle dick, tiptoe, or whatever you've been doing. Just hit them up straight. And if somebody's got an issue with you, you should probably consult with them before it gets to a higher resolution where there's some big black motherfucker yelling about it on camera and it had to come to this. I'm just a fucking teardrop in a sea full of shit. And all I can see is a sea full of shit. I'm the only clear drop in here. Nobody else gonna speak of it because they scared. Nobody else gonna say nothing because they fear what the big boys are gonna do. So all you gotta do is cut the shit. If you use somebody else's shit, just give them the credit. And if they don't want you to use their shit, well you should probably consult about that before you got 100,000 people who think you're a piece of shit, think you're a piece of shit. It's as simple as that. Don't do stuff that you ain't gotta do. It's like, when we use music in our videos and YouTube is like, hey, that's not your music, bro. Demonetize, you're not gonna be able to use this, but you're gonna be able to use this. For y'all, the kids that don't understand what demonetization is, that's when YouTube writes you a nice little letter that says, hey, you don't own this shit, so you probably shouldn't use it, but we'll let people see your shit or we'll just block you. So there's no way to get blocked in this situation, so I guess we should just talk mano y mano. Man to man, lightning God to lightning God, as they flow through my veins and course through my body, as if I got zapped, like Tim Allen in that one movie where he plays Santa Claus. But this ain't a movie, this real life. This is where you gotta appropriate the culture, where you see a man who spends his time in the field, at the track, with the people, with the culture. He's not sitting behind something, yelling at something that we never get to see him at. And forgive me if I'm wrong, but I see this peoples everywhere. I hardly see the other peoples anywhere. It's like I go everywhere to meet with the people. I know what the people want to see. They want to see the big guy who yells at shit, yells at shit in person. And I'm the same motherfucker I am when this shit is off and when this shit is on. You catch me on the toilet, I'm like, hey, my brother, pass me a piece of doodle paper because I don't want to have to use my middle finger to scoop some shit out of this because that's what it feels like every time it's a debauchery in this community. If somebody gets their shit stolen, whether it be car, content, or creation, and then nobody wants to claim up to it, and then you look like a pussy when you don't want to claim up to it. If you got beef with somebody, and they reach out to you, you should probably handle it. Like, gentlemen, this is the 20 fucking first century. You can FaceTime, auto-time, Zoom, Skype, Facebook, 
MySpace, Moco Space, Plenty of Fish, fucking, where's, what's that other app the kids use, the Tinder, whatever you gotta do to send a lot of communication to somebody, hell, send out a smoke signal, send out a laser, I know some boys in the Mojave Desert that can help you get to communication in real quick, you know what I'm saying, that's all you gotta do, it shouldn't come to the course where two people are fighting over the internet for everybody to see and everybody's like, god damn, this is getting messy and everybody sit back like, god damn, it's sad that a motherfucker like me gotta say some shit like this cause it's sad, why you gotta be like this? All you gotta do is keep it 100. It takes less than 10 seconds. For example, Siri, text rants, you're a beautiful man. Did you get the message? He sure did, it took less than that. If you got an altercation, don't get it to percolating because once the top blows off that shit, it's either gonna be one way, it's only gonna be John Cena sucks or John Cena is great and there's no middle ground. Are you sure about that? There's not like, huh? I don't know how to feel about this because this is a sticky situation I don't want to get in. And I'm not in it. I'm just preaching about how I feel. For all you know, you may never see this. For I don't know, you may be seeing it right now. But if you're seeing it for the first time, I'm going to draw it in black and white. Clear as day. You know what I'm saying? You know the Green Lantern Oath. Uh, I don't know. Something about Mike, Green Lantern's Light, all that weird shit. But, you know, pretend there's a little ring on here. All I'm saying is, you got a problem with subject A. You got a problem with subject B. Subject B don't want to give you the credit for subject A. So what do you do? You go to the teacher. But what do the teacher always do? They love the class pet. They're like, oh, man, Bradley's not doing anything. That's just you in your head. Then Bradley kicks your chair, slaps you on the back of the neck and say, what you gonna do about it, bitch? And then you gotta sit there and then when you fight with him, you get in trouble, right? You come out as a bad guy, right? No, it shouldn't be that way. Two grown motherfuckers should talk like two grown motherfuckers. There shouldn't be no reason that we have any type of beef in this, in this type of shit. We all do the same thing. We all create content. We all take pictures. We all post videos. But give credit where credit is due. It's as simple as that. If I take a picture of Rance, then somebody else uses that picture of Rance. And I'm like, hey, that's my photo. And I'm like, hey, bro, that's my photo. And they're like, and why did it have to reach that level? The man's reached out to a man's, but man's don't want to be a man's. It's like, we saw all the shit our forefathers go through. Like back in the day, we'd have to sell this the old way. You get a gun, right? You take 10 steps, one, two, you get the blue, then the motherfucker's dead on the ground. Talking about, you shouldn't have turned around so fast, now you got a hole in your chest the size of a baseball that motherfucker the little league in the pitch field do. So people, keep it simple. If you got intergalactic beef, just own up to it. I done beefed with many of people, but I settled it like a person and never got to the point where it's on the worldwide view to see. Because now you look dumb because you have you look you look stupid. You look like Cinderella when she left her glass shoe. Like whose shoe is this? I don't know, it's some bra's shoe. Now you got the whole town wondering, what's going on? What's going on? We ain't here to play peekaboo, boo. So just do what's right for you. Keep it that simple. Pop it like a pimple. Give me my credentials. Rance, pass me my hat. Let's see if we can read. Oh.